And she's gotten to the free throw line. Maybe that's what she needs to look to do is try to get to the free throw line. Looking for the back door again, and they're able to link up. For assist for South Carolina. Oh, what a backdoor cut. Jump. Oh, probes the baseline. Boy, Haley Jones looks like she's on her game. Look at that pass. Backdoor cut to Wilson. Your own does. That's a beautiful move in transition. Here's Jones. Nice back tour. Hall gets the lay. Jones, the back door, Wilson. Oh, they do that so well. Textbook. Kikir, very often still in. Back door. Oh. <laughs> Just makes it a challenge of a one game matchup in the NCAA tournament. We try and figure you out, you try and figure us out. Stanford looking for the lead. Backdoor cut again, and now things are... Issue. Cara Vanderveer talking about that as the next step for Cameron Brink, the sophomore, uber-talented. You see on that possession exactly what Andrea was talking about, denying the high post. Stanford hasn't been able to get it there. Oh, nice cut. Bolivian will... Wilson. Surveying and pointing out. She wants Brink. The set up in the post. Now it's Lexi. Lacey will fire. Hey! Open floor. Directing traffic. Layup. Good. Hold. You know, they have the ability to put some pressure on you, and they've got the ability to switch one through five. This is just the third time this month that they have the same starting five together. And trying to figure some things out, but they don't. Tough. And then on the other side, my Ohio State roots don't allow me to root for Michigan in football, so... My Clemson ties don't really allow me to root for Georgia, so that's a tough one for yeah, you. That's a tough oh, one. Haley Jones. Deficit in half here in the fourth quarter. It's exactly what you want to do with the time remaining. Without Diamond Miller with five fouls. She's out. Oh, nice post Haley up. Haley Jones fouled by... 14 points, Stanford lead. Here is Brink. Handling, finding, believe me, the cut. And half. And the theme for Colorado defend without fouling. To Telly, Sherrod, and Hollingshed, all with two personal fouls. Yep. Going to stay out of foul trouble. Shot clock down to four. Rolling that way. For the Cardinal at 150. She's like a super, in her super senior. Yes, she is. <laughs> 24-year-old out of Seattle, Washington. Some new life from the Turk bench and their fans. Had a jump, game oh. three. Paul going behind that screen and got it a tough shot, as you mentioned. And she's a player who was slow to get going in that game they like her production here that backdoor cut again yeah they play the percentages and it's what has given tara vanderveer so much success over the years they'll completely leave a player and go in and help inside oh, that's a beautiful set and a good ball pressure by tennessee in this position when you see a player getting up the line and overplaying a team and making them work hard on the on the other end of the Stanford. Jump for three. Got it. So good. There, Rogers had a pretty good look. Brink squares, lowers the shoulder, and scores. 
we lose where it is. She said we have to do this with our defense, apply more pressure, and attack in transition. Well, certainly they've got to find ways to get easy buckets, and the number one way to do that is off defensive boards or steals and transition. Oh, yeah. What's interesting to me, too, Ryan, in, in talking about Andrea with Bolivia's confidence is last year she seemed to start off with incredible confidence. And then at some point she lost a beautiful... Cameron Brink was in foul trouble the entire time against Tennessee, played limited minutes, and she's such a good shot blocker. That's going to hurt them on both ends of the floor. Yeah, she already has six foul outs in her young career, and that's been her biggest issue, just being able to... Small. I love that. This Colorado team, too many turnovers, and Brink high to low. Stanford very much a live team when it comes to the possibility of repeating. She likes the big stage. Elena Bozgana's in, 20 in white, and Brooke Dimitri, 21 in white. Try to take away one of your strengths. Reese and Bibby are the only Terps with more than one basket tonight. Brink, mid-range. Hull, open look for three, and it's good. 12-3 run here for Stanford to open things up a bit. So try the deep three. Well, I think Maryland needs to move the ball better. You know, they've got to go side to side and then go inside, look to penetrate. Try to get Stanford on a closeout so you can attack. Got to come with high hands on Haley Jones right now. Steps through and lays it up and in. So she and Charisma Osborne, she can eat up in a hurry. Yeah, she just needed a little bit of space and she got it because of the Amari Thomas handoff. Brink, strong king. In the game, that's number two on Brink. Stanford six for its last eight from the floor after they had started five for 22. This is an incredible offensive team. Maybe started to find its rhythm at the end of the half. Here at Haley Jones telling Holly, hey, we're going to start making our shots. It is when Jalen Sherrod, they shut her down with the hip surgery similar to Drew Gilton. Got her so much experience and confidence. Oh, sure did. Oh, what a cut, the movement. But Lacey Hole can't get it, but Cameron Green can't. Taken in by Lexi. And oh, what a beautiful feed. He's from three by design, by the def defense's design. Tied at 54, number one against number two. Nice move, Belivi. Big second quarter for Stanford. Yeah, they're looking to put an exclamation point on it. Final two minutes. Jones looks so comfortable, so confident, so in control out there this afternoon for Stanford. And her teams play at an accelerated pace. They both look to push. Transition defense important for both teams. Here's Belibi. She's not a shooter from up there, but she is a driver. Oh, Jones looking for another throw. To beat South Carolina, you have to box them out. And Much easier said than done. Yes. Anna Wilson into the game for Stanford. Prechtel hits. Right there is Twin Jackson. They'll need her offensive presence more in this second half. Gino Oriema told us the other day she's the kind of player who can hit some big shots in a game like this. As Cameron Brink draped all over Beckers there, and she still was able to hit. Phenomenal defense. Here's Brink, quick move on the attack to the reverse. Oh 
Six-point UConn lead. Believe the spin and the tough finish. Right. Yeah, she has not only been aggressive offensively looking for her shot, she has been demanding the basketball. Believe me, able to finish. Have two personal fouls, and it's Tara's philosophy not to play Brink, who's foul prone with two fouls until putting her back in now. Well, she's done better this year because she's only fouled out of three. Brink the face up is. Here's Belibi, facing up, pulling in, and finishing off the window. And turnovers, Anaya Thomas able to go coast to coast. There it is. There's that back door. Hull and Wilson, they, they've tried a couple of different players at the point. They'll actually share the duties of initiating the offenses. At the timeout, he's trying to get... Ebo going, number one inside, the 6'4 senior who brings tremendous size to the low block. Brink looking for both back. I mean, and if you're 50 cent, it's not easy with either hand. <laughs> Brink kicks it out. Wilson will fire and rocket of buckets for Oregon. Now she doesn't need much space on that screen to get open. Transfer from USC. Great, great get for the Ducks. Inside look. Wilson, Hull's been electric and shows you why from beyond the floor at halftime with seven in the kitchen. Back door, that is Stanford basketball. Playing up the line, but on a closeout, they've got high hands. So if Texas doesn't hit any threes, they've only hit a couple. Uh, then they're going to continue to stay in the paint, make them, force them to make shots, keep them out of the inside. Believe me, back to back block shots. If you know Tara Vanderveer, you know she's not playing all her cards in the first mm. half. She hasn't won 1,156 <laughs> games for nothing. And the card in the paint and putting some pressure on the interior part of Texas defense. Deanna Gaston, number five in burnt orange, does start out the half on the floor with three personals. Brink, a little off balance, Sable is back to the paint, and then you fan out. When Maryland is clicking and they're hot, you got to do it the other way. And because they haven't been able to shoot it well, Stanford's been able to load up to the ball in the paint. For they're going to have three players with two feet in the paint on most possessions defensively right now. Jones holds up. She doesn't got to continue to try to space the floor and try to be able to make some cuts going back door against this overplaying one pass away defense. That's their first triple of the game. Advantage is now 32 to 13 for the card. Nice entry pass. Jones. Stanford. She said last year was so strange a season that it almost still feels like a dream. Vanderveer is trying to weather the storm until she can get to the under five TV timeout. Jump around the Brink screen. Brink, the crossover, the drive, and the finish. So far this year, the Cardinal did rebound to get wins over ranked Indiana and Maryland. Jones, the wrap around and the lay-in that could happen that could affect whether the NCAA has to have a minimum number of games to qualify for the NCAA tournament. They're going to be in. We will find out. The, the lottery is tomorrow, right? That's right. Look at this drive by Anna Wilson. And you know what? I was just going to take to bring. Yeah, Andrea, she is a 6'4 post player who can really run the floor. Talk about running the floor there. So her older players who. She doesn't have that much time left with. It's saying she just treasures the experience. Oh! Lacey Hall, not nice defensive help there from Stanford. Another stop. Lining up the three. It's good. My greatest confidence. And 
She listed off about five or six different players who dealt with different roles and different times as Lexi. And then Shirai loses it off his foot. Another turn from Colorado. Get back in time to stop Brink. Nope, not that time. the pass a little off target so here's Stanford now they've hit a couple threes after starting two for 18 new life but you don't necessarily need a three look to attack the basket down four 28 seconds to go Jones on the attack Jones rips it in it's a two-point game happen when Haley Jones has been the one to initiate and create Connecticut meanwhile 12 for 13 from the line in this fourth quarter toss into Brink Brink trying to find an angle, she does, and it's a two-point game. It's just on any given night or day, somebody on this Stanford roster can hurt you. Go for it, baby, yes! History of concussions in her career. Look at Warren, stuff that dribble handoff, good cut by Hall. Beautiful play. She's graduating, who was her leading scorer. Eight of the nine are back from last year's championship team. The point guard, the lone departure. And that's been an issue. Late in games for Stan. During the Sweet 16, Rebecca, look, I know I'm not going to be last year's Paige Beckers. Well, in the second half and overtime, she looked like last year's Paige Beckers against NC State. When she first came back, she did not want to be just Two winningest coaches in women's basketball history, Tara Vanderveer and Gino Oriema. Have these fans holding on for dear life. Jump. Hit. Jones spins. Oh, nice. Diamond Miller comes back into the game for Maryland. Wilson spins back to the baseline. Jones walked with it. Under two minutes to go in the first half. Well, big for them here as well if they can stretch it. Jones. And that's where Brie Beal makes her mark. She's known as a defensive stopper. Tara Vanderbeer was very pleased with the way Anna Wilson. On, it's Kendall Weta, 15 and black for Colorado. And she's such a talented freshman. Lexi comes back in, looked pretty, right? Leads by example, so vocal. This entire Colorado team, J.R. Payne said, they are so selfless. It's just been a pleasure. As Anna Wilson, she said, when she saw the heartbreak on my team's face after losing that game, I knew I was coming back. She gets to pursue a master's degree, but she also gets to get her team into the tournament. Right now, they're an eight seed in Charlie Cream's bracketology. It's Haley Jones. It's the Basketball Hall of Fame Women's Showcase. Doubleheader for you tomorrow. Number five, Baylor, 13th ranked Michigan, gets us underway at one Eastern. Stand for team either. Usually you have to transition to the three-point line. You can transition to the paint and then match up. You got to know where hand to jump is. They don't shoot the three as well as no. traditional stand for teams. Prechtel, she does. Well, Belibi hands it over to Hall and Lexi Hall. Things that worry her in terms of, you know, the NCAA tournament or winning a championship, like, nothing worries me. <laughs> like I love that. Up, if I got one player who's not playing well, I just put somebody else in. <laughs> um, nice. well, Van Geitenbeek has scored nine points total her first 17 games, and then the last two, 27 points. Here is Ho! of the um, post-shot celebration. I think I like Dawn's the best, to turn and walk away. <laughs> like you expected it to go in all along. And since big brother Russell to Minneapolis this year, <laughs> after we saw him in San Antonio during the tournament last season. Lexi into the paint, turning. Can't finish, believe me there again. How about Brink on the fire?